There is no easy way. There is only hard work, late nights, early mornings, practice, rehearsal, repetition, study, blood, toil, frustration. I made that Instagram reel randomly on a Tuesday morning. I, I really didn't think anything of it. I mean, I kind of knew that some might find it encouraging and motivating to take their CSSP, but never did I imagine this simple video would now wind up getting over 1 million views. Can you believe that? I can't. A cybersecurity video? I mean, IT is a small sector in the overall technology field, and cybersecurity is an even more narrow area of expertise. And to study the CSSP is even smaller of a group. There's only like 150,000 CSSPs in the world or something like that. And like seven times that many people watch this video and still watching it. It's crazy. I'm just like some dude sitting in his office making these and now to see it, ah, forget it. It's, it's nuts. Anyway, thought I'd share that statistic. Uh, I hope it inspires someone to join the cybersecurity industry. It's, it's a great time to join. Okay, you ready for this CSV practice question? It's tough. An attacker launches a subset of exhaustive key searches against a two-round block cipher by running through every possible key at the encryption end and decrypting the equivalent ciphertext using all possible keys. The transitional results of each round are then captured in a separate lookup file until finally the right match is found from either of the both ends. Which choice describes this attack? Is it choice A, meet in the middle attack? Is it choice B, birthday attack? Is it choice C, exhaustive key search attack? Or is it choice D, statistical attack? The correct answer is A. This targeted plain text is brute forced using every possible combination and the equivalent ciphertext is decrypted using different set of combinations. By doing so, the cracker is hoping that the right match will reveal at K1 to K2. This type of attack generally takes only double the time necessary to break a single round of encryption. It takes 2n to the 2 times 2 rounds rather than the presumed 2n times 2n. Knowing that the effective key size of DES is 56 bits, it takes only 2 times 56 times 2, which equals 2 times 57 encryption decryption operations to crack the key. The idea of this attack is to decrease the space of the tested keys and lessen the time required to crack the key by working on both ends of the function concurrently. Diffie and Hellman were the first to demonstrate a successful against, a, attack against two DES using meet in the middle attack as a proof of concept. As a result, two DES or double DES has been officially withdrawn in 2005, replaced by triple DES. It's not choice B, a birthday attack. And you can look up in your CISP books what a birthday attack is, but if you didn't know, if you had no clue, you could still figure it out, not because you didn't know the definition of choice B, but by process of elimination. This question itself is highly technical, right? I mean, it's a lot of complex words that revolve around the idea of cryptography and encryption. And that's the idea. It's talking about encryption. A birthday attack is an attack on hashing algorithms. And we know the question is describing something to do with encryption and not hashing because of this term right here, two round block cipher. Block cipher is an encryption term, not a hashing term. Block ciphers are what is used to divide a message into blocks of bits and those blocks of bits are then put through an encryption process. Hashing doesn't use block ciphers. It uses a completely different algorithm to get altogether where there isn't even a decryption process. It's a one-way function. Knowing these definition differences, you could have easily eliminated choice B. Why isn't it choice C? The question talks about exhaustive key searches, so why isn't choice C, exhaustive key search attack, the answer? Choice C is a general term for brute force attacks. The question is talking about a very specific type of attack. Choice C is a general term. It's not choice D, but if you didn't know the definition of a statistical attack and a meet in the middle attack, you may have chosen choice D. Our CISP practice question is talking about taking known plain text and trying to figure out the keys used during encryption and during decryption. 
It's focused on finding the right symmetric key used to both encrypt and decrypt. A statistical analysis is not a bad answer, but it is more about figuring out a mathematical weakness of a crypto system, something that is a flaw or something it can't do or doesn't do enough or something that is known to happen and you just wait for it to happen. Something like that. Like for choice D, you're saying statistically this should work. But for choice A and the context of the question, you're saying, this will work, I just have to wait it out. This practice question is attempting a formulated, specific, and planned cryptographic attack. Bottom line, choice A is the best choice you can make given the specifics of the question. Good luck on your exam if it's this week, future CSSPs. Thanks for watching. <laughs>